Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, so for today, I actually, we've been getting, I'm gonna get that reflection out of there a little bit, kinda. All right, so we've been getting a lot of requests on how do I tighten my bands? How do I adjust my bands on my body boss? And for what movements? So today I'm going to take the time and what we're going to be doing today is basically learning the body boss inside and out. We are just going to be learning the different settings for different exercises and I'm just going to get you thinking a little more creatively for your exercises that you would like to do. Uh, maybe you have a special exercise that you'd like to do at the gym and well I'm going to show you the different settings on your body boss so that you can incorporate that exercise on your body boss at home. So you don't have to go to the gym anymore. So I have my body boss out here and Minnie's playing with her bear. Bear with me there. So I'm actually going to put you guys closer here so that it, you can kind of get a better feel. All right. All right, so we have the body boss base. And as you all know, we have a numbering system. And for those of you that are new with us, we have a numbering system. So, for example, if you want to clip your bands into one, go right for it. Clip your bands into two, so on and so forth. So let me get my bands out here. All right, so I'm just trying to get organized here. All right, so for our bands, many things we're playing here. <laughs> All right, so like I said, you can just clip your band into one and do your exercise. Now, as you know, that the band's gonna be this length. So you're not gonna meet resistance until the band is all the way stretched out. And that's usually, it, it's about to your hips if you're an average height person. Um, so you're gonna be able to lift this band up over your head and it might be a little bit more resistance, but th this would be a good setting for lifting up over your head. But, People are asking, how do I tighten my bands? How do I make it more resistance? Well, it's as easy as putting your band through one, clipping to two. Now, as we can see, that's a shorter band. So therefore, the resistance is gonna start earlier and it's gonna be more resistance up over your head. Well, to tighten it even more, you go on to setting 13. So through one, clip to three so on and so forth. So as you can see, it's even shorter, making the band more resistance, thus more weight, and it's going to provide you with more strength training. So for, here, let me turn the body muscle around. So right now we have our bands coming from a forward setting. So we have our bands coming from the front set setting of one because it's through one, clip to three. And if you wanted to make it more difficult, you would go through one, clip to four, through one, clip to five, and so on and so forth. And then you would go ahead, and if that setting 15 is still too easy, that's when you go ahead and add your second band. And I'll get there as we move on with this, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I've I, a lot of my videos, I've always put my bands in setting 13, 12, 14, 15, they all come from this front setting here, okay? I try to do that because I like to stay consistent to make it easier for you guys to understand. But this, as we know, is a new way of working out. We really, and not everyone knows all the ins and outs of the body boss. So that's what I really want to get across today for you guys so that you can do your workouts for you, like you can make them adjustable and pertain to your needs. So, front setting, 
exercises. So let's go through some front setting exercises here. So I'm going to put my other band in a setting 13. And if you think about it, front setting exercises, meaning that the band is coming out of one, okay? So we can have it in setting 53. That would be back setting exercises. So if it's in setting 53, our band would be going through five, clip to three. So as you can see, my bands are coming from two different points. I have one coming from the front angle, one coming from the back angle, okay? So that kind of hopefully gives you an idea as to how that changes up workouts. Because if you have it coming from the front angle, you obviously are going to want to do front exercises. Exercises that are going to be in front of you. When I say front, I mean in front of you, like front squats. You can even do back squats, but... To be completely honest, back squats, you probably want to put it in the middle angle, which would be setting 35. So through three, clip to five. Because when you do a squat, you want it coming. If you think about when you go to the gym and you put the barbell behind your head and you do your squats, you're coming from a central, it's, it's pulling you, or it's providing weight right above you. So you, it's in line with you, okay? It's not pulling you forward. If you have your back squat coming from a forward angle, you, you have to think about it. You're actually working using muscles to keep your chest up. So because this wants to pull you forward because it's at a front angle. So when I do back squats, a lot of time I like them to come from the middle angle. So the middle angle is going to keep it right up and down. It's going to be my center of gravity. It's going to be like that string pulling me straight up into the, the sky there because that's more anatomically correct as well. So these are just things I want to put in your head here because as we advance in our workouts and everything, I want you to know that there's different settings that are important to your exercises. So another thing is, is you can do, it's a back squat. It makes sense to come from the backward angle. You can do back squats in setting 53. So through five, clip to three, okay? Through five, clip to three. Because when you do your squat, it's going to be pulling you back, but you're going to have to fight that and use more of your front muscles to keep you, your body in line with itself, okay? So... Those are some of the different angles that we can do. So if you want to do back squats, I really recommend starting with the front angle because it's easy to understand the settings, but working your way to the middle angle or even just to switch it up, you can put your bands in the middle angle. So through setting, so through setting 35, so through three, clip to five, that would be the middle angle. You can do the back angle. So these are going to all work different muscle groups and make the same exercise hit different muscles and provide you with different results, okay? So it's really important that we focus on that. And then another thing is um, for above head movements, I really like to have my bands, and a lot of you guys probably know this if you've been following along with my videos, but above the head movements, you have to have a longer band, because think about it, the band, it reaches up to about your hips, and without being, um, without being shortened, so it reaches to about your hips, so when you lift it up over your head, it provides resistance, but you might want more resistance. So that's when we go ahead, and instead of just adding another band, we tighten our bands, so we put it in setting 12, so through one, clip to two, or through one, clip to three, so on and so forth, okay? But I personally don't like to add bands when I'm doing above head exercises unless it's super, super easy. And even then, I don't like to um, provide too much, I mean, that's just my style of working out. Um, Many of you may be wanting to do exercises that are more, I guess, uh, strength building. I like to do quick movements, cardiovascular, not only strength building, but getting your endurance up. 
So it just really depends on what your goals are. But I like to, especially these shoulders, these, your shoulders are usually an uh, area that are, can easily be injured. And with resistance bands, that's actually strengthening all those intricate, there's so many different muscles in there. But it's providing you with, um, it's providing you with stability muscles even. So I like to stick to one man when I'm doing movements over my head, so whether that be shoulder press or, I don't know, I, I, I guess shoulder press with the handles, the bar, boxing. I like to stick to one band and just do the tightening of the band, the single band. Now, that's where I wanted to get into, say you're at setting 15, and it's, it's difficult, but you want a little more weight. Okay, so I'm at setting 15 here. And I hope this is making sense for you guys. But I just want to show you guys different ways that you can do your workouts. So you're at setting 15 here. It's through one. Let me turn it upside down so you can got, kind of get a better feel as to what I'm doing here. So it makes more sense this way. All right. So we are at setting 15. And you're doing a movement, you're doing an exercise, and it's it's too easy, but you don't want to add the other band into setting 15 because it's just too difficult. I just can't do it when I have two bands in setting 15. I, it's just, it's too much resistance. Well, that is where being creative comes in to play. Watch out, Minnie. Go get your toy. So... That's where you have to go ahead and, sorry, my dog wants to play with me here, huh? So that's where you go ahead and you add this band to setting 12. So you go through one, clip to two, and the other band is still in setting 15. So that provides you, and as you can see, the bands, one is longer than the other. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Minnie, you got to stop biting me. All right. So, as you can see, I apologize. I'm sorry. She is just being a stinker, isn't she? So, you can see one is longer than the other. But think about it. When you're doing your movement, let me go ahead and clip in a band here so you can kind of get an idea as to what I mean here. All right. Or er, clip in a handle. So say we're doing curls, and setting 15 is hard, but you want a little bit harder. So I put my handle in here. All right. Let me lift up my computer here so you can see a little better. Okay. So you can see one is a little looser than the other. This one is going to start providing you resistance up to this point, this point on. Okay? To make it more difficult, you can see at this point is when the second band goes ahead and it starts providing resistance, okay? Because they're both tight. They're both taut now. They're taut bands, all right? And then at the very top, when you get up to this angle here, it's providing the most resistance because both bands are now being stretched. and it's providing the most resistance at this point. And I have my bands, as you can see. One is in setting 15. So through one, clip to five. Minnie, get back. She is just trying to be the star here, isn't she? All right. So you have one band through setting 15. Through one, clip to five. And the other band in setting 12. Now, say we want to make it a little more difficult, we're going to put it into setting 13, all right? So that's going to provide you resistance the whole, not only the whole time, but it's going to hit resistance at different points as you do your movement, your exercise, okay? So that's a way to go ahead and be not only creative with your bands, but provide resistance 
at different points during the exercise. Because if I were to put both bands into setting 15, it would be just too difficult. So I want a halfway between that. That's when you go ahead and put one of the bands in setting 15, and then the other band into setting 13, okay? Or, or 14 or 12 or whatever is best for you. So I wanted to get that across because I think that's a really important thing, especially for those of you that like to do strength training, um, like with weights. And you want, say, when you're doing your strength training, you have a 10-pound, and you want to go to 15, but 15 is just too 15 pounds is just too much, and you want a 12.5. Well, not all gyms or whatnot have 12.5 weights. So with the Body Boss, you're able to get that 12.5 with the bands. You just have to be creative with your bands and follow that, that kind of that technique that I just showed you. So I'm going to leave it at that for right now with um, some of the exercise or some of the settings in the body boss right now because it can be overwhelming at times because it is a new way of working out it is a new way of thinking um so i think that i think that those were really key points that i wanted to get across to you today because not everyone knows that and we've been having lots of questions on how do i tighten my bands how do i make it more resistance how do i make it less resistance um, how do I get that in between resistance? So I hope that explains some things and it provides you guys with some answers. And we do like to hear your feedback. Uh, it's really beneficial for us because we do want to help you guys. We want to help you reach your fitness goals. So without your feedback, we don't have a clue as to what's going, going on. So we really want to make sure that you guys understand the process, this new way of working out, so that you can reach your maximum potential, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead, and since I provided you with some of those, today was mainly, I know they put sweat, sweat sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied. I know they put sweat session on the title for today's, information session um but they hadn't talked to me yet and got my plan as to what i needed so um i just wanted to this to be an information session because we have been getting lots of questions and i want to make sure that you guys are on track and this every tuesday and saturday is not only workouts but it's also information because we not only train you guys we like to teach we like to train and we like to motivate you guys so some days we might just have a motivation session. Um, we are still working on our website. It's getting it's getting better each and every day. Um, and eventually we want to transition you guys all from Kickstarter to our website. And we are hoping that it provides you with, it'll be even more um, easier to use. It'll be even more beneficial for you guys. So um, I wanted to get that across for you guys today. I wanted to teach you today. So that's our motto. We like to teach, train, and motivate. So I've trained you guys a lot on different exercises. I've given you numerous exercises. I don't think I've done the same workout ever. So, and I want to continue doing that. Um, giving you guys different ways, different ideas so that you can work out on your own as well. So today was a teaching session and, um, if you guys have any questions, now would be a good time to go ahead and comment. Um, if not, if you don't want it on the Kickstarter, go ahead and email us. Um, I believe it's the support email. So go ahead and email us with any questions or concerns. Um, anything that you would like to know. I like the idea of using two bands into different settings to achieve some of the variable resistance. Yeah, that's, yep. I'm glad you like that, Timothy. I know. Sometimes it's hard because I'm trying to show you guys workouts, but I, it's hard to show you the settings as well. I've tried to keep the settings pretty simple up to this point. So through one, clip to two, and so on and so forth, up to setting 15, so that you guys can easily follow along and easily adjust your bands as needed. But I wanted to show you that being creative and 
finding new ways to clip your bands in that it can provide you with more resistance, less resistance, or getting those in between weights that you can't quite reach with weights themselves. So I wanted to make sure I got that across. But um, again, if you guys like these, these information sessions, please let me know. And we're, we're going to do more of these. I want to do more beginner, beginner workouts. I want to be doing more intermediate workouts and advanced workouts. I want to mix things up for you guys so that you guys get the a little bit of everything so that you can kind of create your own plans. Your What you like, put that, make sure you make a mental note or write those down, those exercises you, you like, and you really find that you're getting the best results with so that you can do those later on. Um, on your own, say you, you have to be at work at 8 a.m. and you want to get up and do a workout in the morning so that you can do those workouts in the morning. And I want to get you guys to the point where you don't really need me because this is a lifelong workout system. You guys, working out is lifelong. It's a lifestyle change. It's not just working out till you reach your goals and then letting it go. It's actually a lifestyle. So I want to train you guys so that you guys know what to do when I'm not here all the time, when I'm not giving you these workouts. Okay, I hope that clarifies some things too. So um, is there any other questions? Because I'm willing to answer your questions here. This is our, 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 tra our, our, our teaching day. We teach, train, and motivate. So I've done a lot of training. A lot of motivating, and today is a training day on your body boss of different band settings. If you'd like to show me some, or if you'd like me to show you some different, uh, if you didn't understand one of the settings, if you want to sh me to show you again, please let me know. Um, I'll give it a few seconds here to see if anyone else has any comments or questions. But again, if you don't feel comfortable, go ahead and get um email us on our support email um we have some comments here do you have any ideas about what kind of pounds of resistance bat bands add up to at different settings that is a great question um and we're actually working on a surprise i guess i could say but um something that'll help determine the weight of the resistance bands if that makes sense. So no, we don't know exactly what the resistance is because if you think about it, it's zero weight up until the band is taut and then it's more, it's, it's a little bit of weight in the middle and then it's most weight at the top. So we try not to focus too much on weight, but we are working on a device that'll give us a little more information on the poundage of the resistance. And then... Where can we find out the dimensions of the body boss? I want to make sure we have space for it. Oh, yeah. So, um, dimensions. So, dimensions. I don't have a ruler with me. But it's about this wide. And I have to say it would probably be about, there's a, about a foot there, another foot there. So, it's about two and a half feet long two and a half feet long and about a foot and a half wide I guess and if you look at the from the side it's only about 17 pounds I want to say but the nice thing is is it folds up and that's what makes it so nice it folds up and you can store it away behind things so say I want to put it behind here I, I have this I'll show you. So say I want to put it behind this thing here. You can go ahead and do that. I have a plug here, so it's not going to really fit. But it's 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 literally, I don't have the dimensions with me, but I'm sure somebody could probably comment and let you know. Um, but it's, it's literally the size of my hand. I would say it's about maybe two inches wide when folded together. So it's really, oh, Timothy, yeah. Mine is about 24 by 39.5, and that's about right. <laughs> Thanks, Timothy. I, I appreciate it. I didn't have a measuring tape with me. So, but, yeah, it's very easy to store away, and 
I don't know. What do you guys think? For Amy, she was wondering if it's easy to store. I think it's pretty easy to store. I like how you can fold it up and you have your handles and it's you can put it anywhere. I personally leave mine down here. Um, this is my basement. I keep mine here down in the basement and then I put it against the couch and it's as easy as that. And then you have your little baggie that you put all your, your um, bands and everything in right here. So, and then you put it right next to it. And Timothy says he hangs his on the big old hook in the wall, on the wall, just so it's not in the ground to stumble over. That's a great idea, Timothy. So, do you guys have any other questions on how, like, to clip in your bands or really get good settings? Um, like, say you want to do an exercise, but the exercises you've been doing with me the bands aren't tight enough and you go to the next setting that I've been training you guys on setting 12, 13, 14, 15, and it's still not enough weight or it's a, too much weight and you want to find that in between. Um, I could probably give you some tips as to a setting that would be easy to use. Oh, you have compact living. Amy says she has compact living on a sailboat. That's awesome. I, I would think it would maybe fit on a sailboat. I'm, I, to be honest, I've never been on a sailboat, so I can't say for sure. But um, oh, we have. Can you use other resistance bands and clip it into the onto the anchor points? So it depends on the resistance bands. The nice thing about our resistance bands, well, first of all, when you get the body boss, it comes with the resistance bands. Our resistance bands. Have this cloth this protective cloth around them which when you're tightening your bands so here I'll put it in I'll put it in setting 13 for you I just want to explain this here to explain how important this cloth is for your bands so you put your band into setting 13 and let's see here there we go and you see how it kind of rubs against the hook here well, with a normal band that is just rubber, that eventually really breaks down over time and it can potentially snap. And I've actually, when we were trialing the Body Boss, when we were first coming up with ideas on the Body Boss, we had those rubber bands. And through trial and error, we ended up putting cloth on them. But I actually had a rubber band snap on me at uh, one point when in our early days of like traveling different bands and trying to find what worked best. Um, so that's why I recommend using the Body Boss bands because they have this cloth around them. And if it were to snap, it's going to stay within the cloth. So it's not going to snap and hit you. It'll just loosen real quick and you'll know it snapped. Um, it protects you and um, it's, I really recommend these ones. They're actually, they last longer because they have that cloth to protect the rubber part of them. And um, I actually haven't heard of one breaking yet. So that can, that tells you a lot as well. So um, I, I definitely recommend these bands, but I guess you could try and use resistance bands that are rubber or, but they have to have the clips in order to clip on to the, um, anchor points. You want it to clip to the anchor point and you want it to clip to either your handle or I have a wrist wrap here. Your wrist wraps, your workout bar. So you just want to make sure that it's a really durable band, I guess. So um if there is there any other questions about hooking in? If not, um if not like if you don't think of it right now email us at support at our support email and um we'll answer you we'll find out and if the our support people don't know the answer they will find the answer out for you and we will get you an answer um and if you think about it and saturday you happen to think about again go ahead and ask me on saturday on the kickstarter live as well and then just, thanks wasn't thinking of attaching it to multiple anchors oh okay yeah you could probably try it. I just recommend the cloth because it's it's not going to ruin the band, the rubber part. 
and it also protects you. And I just care about your safety, to be honest. So, um, and then Amy says, well done, great design. Thank you for the demo. No problem. So I appreciate you guys joining me for today. Um, I know I said sweat session, and I apologize for that not being more clear to you guys. Um, I'll have to, I guess that's a my fault. I didn't verbalize what I was doing to the people writing the updates and stuff. So um, I apologize to you. But I hope today's session really helped you understand different settings on your body boss because knowing your body boss is most important for your success because if you know how to clip in your bands in and out fast, effectively, then you're going to get a better workout. You're not going to be stressed about where do I clip my bands in. So it's really up to you to learn your body boss so that you can get the best workouts you possibly can. So we teach, we train, and we motivate. That's what we want to do to help you guys reach your goals because we're not always going to be here necessarily providing you with workouts. And we want you, like I said, if you want to wake up at 5 in the morning to get your workout in before work or whatnot, we don't offer any classes then, so you guys have to come up with your own workouts and your own exercises that you think help you get ahead because not everyone's the same. Not everyone finds squats effective as effective as I do. Not everyone finds that the our pop squats as effective as so-and-so gym over here does. So you have to really find what works for you and – like I said, make a mental note or write those exercises down so that you guys can create your own workouts that are personalized to your needs and do workouts that help you reach your goals the best. So um, thank you guys again for joining me today. I know I talked a lot, but I really wanted to get this information across to you guys. I think it's good information to know um, for your success. So if there's no other questions, I will see you guys on Saturday. And um, we're going to be doing a workout. We're going to be doing actually an advanced workout. But don't let those begin that you guys who are beginners, don't let that scare you. You can still adjust your bands to another setting. And you can also maybe try and do one set. And if you have to, stop early. But try and go through the workout with us because you'd be surprised that you might be able to keep up or you might be able to get more accomplished than what you thought. And you might see an exercise that you really like. So beginners, don't be scared. We're going to do an advanced workout on Saturday. So come prepared with your water, stretch beforehand, um, have all your body boss stuff there and ready. So thanks again, guys, for joining me. And I will see you Saturday. So have a great rest of your week and continue to stay motivated and try and use some of those those new techniques with the bands that I just showed you. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you soon.